Hey, hey, you know, like the shirt, I'm such a dad, so cringy. Today's reading is Exodus chapters 35 through 37, Psalm 36 and Philippians chapter 4. We're going to be in Philippians chapter 4 for this video, and this chapter has one of the more famous verses in the Bible, and that verse is verse 13, and it reads from the NIV, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Now, my favorite part of going through the Bible is the context we're provided. And we get a lot of context to this verse in the previous two verses. Starting halfway through verse 11, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Oh boy, it is hard being content. Okay, story time. For those of you who don't know, my first career was in local TV. I was a sportscaster and I busted my butt in that business. My first job was part-time as a production assistant, working early mornings, making like $7.50 an hour. And then my first big boy job, my first full-time job, moved me to Minnesota from just north of Memphis, Tennessee. And I was making a whopping $10 an hour. I think it was $10.50. Yeah, ten fifty an hour, and I busted my butt for that ten fifty an hour, and it took me almost a decade to make a halfway decent salary. And for a long time, I had a really hard time being content. I was living in crummy apartments, obviously not making a lot of money, didn't have a lot of disposable income. Meanwhile, I'm watching my friends get married, buy houses, and I'm sitting here thinking, when is my life really gonna start? Feeling like it was never going to start. Like I was always gonna be in the same spot forever. And it was really hard. I had a really hard time comparing myself to what others were doing in their lives. So I had to take a really long look in the mirror. I mean like a really long look because it took me a long time to figure this out. But I had everything I needed. I had a roof over my head. I had food in my belly. My car worked. And most importantly, I had a job. So I eventually got married and we have two beautiful daughters. And so you're thinking, all right, I've made it. I'm good, but oh, 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 it only just begins. Because then you see your friends, these people that you meet, and they have bigger houses and bigger jobs and fancier cars. And how much did they spend on that birthday party? And then all of a sudden it brings back all of these emotions of inadequacies and shortcomings because you're comparing yourself to others once again. So again, I had to take another long, long look in the mirror and relearn the fact that I had everything I could ever need and that there are tons of people out there, a large percentage of people that if they compared their situation to mine would kill to be in the situation that I'm in and have the things that I have. And what I found in those moments and even now when I have those thoughts is that there's peace in being content. There's peace in understanding that God is providing and that we can indeed do all things through him who gives us strength. We just have to get the mud out of our eyes and realize the blessings are literally right there in front of us. So if you're struggling with being content, I pray that you pray that the Lord opens your eyes to all of the blessings that you have. Would it be nice to have everything we wanted and then the option to have a little bit more? Of course, but many of us already have more than enough. That's all for today's reading. Tomorrow's is Exodus chapters 38 through 40 and Hebrews chapter 1. See you later.